happy. And <laughs> Hyun, you, Hyun showed us that in a glorious fashion that you have to have something else as well. That the real question is like, what are you going to do against Mech? Like without Swarm Host being the way that they are. Because I mean, you guys were thinking like. Yeah, you're gonna go like hydras against this. Like you can, you can never go hydras. Like I mean, like we shouldn't forget about the fact that he also decided to make 24 mutilisk and fry them straight into a bunch of missile turrets and tors. Like that didn't help him, of course. That wouldn't help him in a normal game either. No, no. And having uh, having a good like hundred plus supply in just swarm host that really aren't doing very much in this game, and he wasn't really utilizing them that well either. It's uh, yeah. Okay, guys, we haven't been doing any introduction. So I think it's time we got back to at least doing some, okay? Who, who has All to right, volunteer? The right bottom side of the map, it's Supernova. Jesus Christ, that's the least overwhelming introduction okay. I've ever heard from you. I, think I don't know what he's doing at the start of the game, but he's got 400 average APM right now. Mm -hmm. No, because I said least. So if I said least underwhelming, it's like counteracts each other. Get it? Get it? How did Roddy get pink eye? I didn't know I have a pink eye. <laughs> How do you think he got a pink eye? Just like Stefano got like mouth herpes. Anyway. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! No! Okay, oh Divaslim, introduce our Zerg player, please. That was like the funniest thing ever! <laughs> <laughs> Stefano comes over to me and hugs me, and then Bling and Rotterdam come over. It's like, Bling immediately says like, Yo, what happened to your mouth? Then it says like, yo, did, was it a bad vagina? And Stefan is like, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like so nonchalantly. And then Bling doing what Bling does, just never fucking let it go. Uh, for the people who did not watch Home Story Cup, they have absolutely no idea what we're on about right now. But the people that did watch Home Story Cup will never, uh, will never forget. Somebody said I fell asleep during Roddy's introduction. Well, that was the whole point. It wasn't... <laughs> It was the point to make it an underwhelming introduction. Because Todd was trying to hype it up, but... You know, Johan, I went to bed at like 1 a.m. because it takes like one hour to get home from the WCS studio. So really? I, I, I went pretty much to bed. Yeah, I live pretty far away. And I went to bed, and then I had to put my alarm clock at like 6. And by the time I was asleep, it was like 2. So I, I'm like doing all this on four hours of sleep, by the way. Yeah, Nothing so you, but you're passion. fucking loving it. Yeah, no, it's been really fun, don't get me wrong, but like you can't really expect like the most hyped up introduction ever. I yeah, just sure. don't know. Well, don't when know you press the play it. commercials for 90 seconds, I'm sure you were hyped as hell, so... That, that's <laughs> true, those keep me going, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's provocative. Gets the streamers going. <laughs> You're really sick. Alright, so, uh, I mean, like, I don't know, what kind of introduction do you have in mind for Hyun? Dimoslim is going to come up with something fun. Wow, that's a lot of pressure considering we haven't had a good idea how to introduce people the whole night. Find an accent or an impression. Like, you know a lot of impression. Try to, uh, try to do me, do. Uh, Ben. Like, uh, you already tried to imitate Todd. Try to... Because uh, I think it's really funny when you try to imitate me because you make me sound like I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, which I don't think I sound anywhere near. But I, I think... Find it, I it. find it so hard to pronounce words like you Oh, do. Grubby, Grubby. Can you do Grubby? No. Like... Uh, <laughs> Oh wait, I'll try, I'll try. Let me take out this chewing gum. <coughs> <laughs> oh fuck, I've built this up now. <laughs> oh, wait, let me let me practice with mute. One sec. <laughs> Man, he's taking this very <laughs> he's, stepping, he's stepping up his game. Wow. Man, I just, I just sound like fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger on crack or something. Yeah, that's perfect. Go, go. Okay. Spawning over in the top. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go, continue, continue. <laughs> okay, spawning over in the top left, we have Rocket Kion as the blue Zerg. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the chopper. I don't, Get to I the chopper. Now. That didn't sound anything like Grubby at all. <laughs> I know, dude. If, I if I was Grubby and I was watching this, I would be legit bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like. Man, this just sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger, dude. Like, this ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> you just... Like, you could have just made this amazing if you just said all along, I'm going to introduce this like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Then you would have aced this. But instead you went with Robbie. Then you sounded like Arnold. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, man. I failed. 
<laughs> wow. What's happening in the game, boys? We see Bane is going down. Man, Supernova is actually going to tank drop Xiang. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a tryhard. He wants to weaken him before he makes the 30 Ravens later on. <laughs> yeah. They're both playing very, very seriously. What do you mean, okay, seriously? Ben. I mean, uh. like, this bailing mass and third base and getting, like, defensive links against the possible Hellions that could attack. Because there's know. money on the line, they don't trust each other. <laughs> I think Xian is gonna save his honor over here. He's like, you know what, last game, I died a painful death after not being able to do have anything. This time, I'm just gonna bailing bust him. And if I make Swamos, I'll make sure that he has, like, 12 SCVs to defend against him. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Just kill the just kill the third base and the natural and leave him in his main. It's like it's, all right. This is really cool though. Like, look at Hyun. He knows Supernova so. Look at look at Supernova. He's doing this cheeky shit yeah. in a show match. Like, it's kind of cool. But Hyun like knew about it, and Supernova isn't sieging up because he knows those rocks going to be broken like almost immediately. So, kind of nice play by them both. Apparently, a lot of people still think that we are playing the legacy of the Void. Uh, test map, which is absolutely not the case, guys. There is a huge difference between the Legacy of the Void Alpha map or the Balanced Test map. These are changes, the changes that you currently see in this show match series, these are changes that you will most likely see in the near future in WCS even, but then in Heart of the Swarm, not in Legacy of the Void. Oh, this is super sweet. Yeah, you could actually even place these units better around this tank to cover it. Oh, yeah. the Queens, though. The Hellbats are dirty. I mean, he's gonna, like, if he picks up Look, he can't kill so the tank, nice. can he? I mean, he's not using his hellbats to deny this, like, so uh, the tank's gonna die. Oh, oh my god, what a noob! He could have done that oh, so much it. better, but look already, like, this is nine minutes in the game, and that was. You had to deal with two hellbats, four marines, and a tank, and a medevac with just lings, because the queens can't get over there in time. Imagine like, if he would have dropped the mule and he would have repaired the tank. I mean, yeah, that's a really sick push. Imagine like, if he would have surrounded the tank properly. Can't yeah, with two Hellbats, like one on either side, like, yeah. <laughs> there was no breaking that. This is actually a sick freaking strap by Sean might, might just die here, which would be very sad. You gonna copy it, Ben? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I this mean, Queens are good enough, but he's gonna have to control them. Uh, uh, queens are so good. I think you're underestimating Queens right now. Yeah, actually, I, Supernova did this very poorly. Like, some of the units were attacking, like, the Extractor. <laughs> yeah. For, like, the longest time. He was on an A move. And also, he also has, the, he also has the Banshee fighting somebody else. I thought he was going to use the Banshee to shoot down Queens. Queens have 175 health, one armor, and they heal each other. Like, I know. That's pretty sick. It's so insane. Like He cleaned that up actually very well, but also, yeah, yeah Supernova didn't handle that very well. well I mean, if Supernova would have had the Banshee like, shooting at the Queens as well, it's much more likely that he takes down a bunch of them. Because yeah. the Banshee has the highest DPS out of all those units by far. For sure, for sure. Okay, I was worried here for a sec. There was only a Spire on the way, nothing else. I thought Hyun might have forgot the theme of the show match, but here we go with the infestation pit. I think this time he should indeed just stick to making a few and then hopefully not fly 24 Mutalisk into Taurus. So Hyun is actually going to have a real army to do some economic damage with. Because like, I think the Swarmos were creating a few opportunities here and there in the last game. But he just had nothing else going for himself because he burned all of his money on the freaking Mutas. So maybe this time if he actually spends his money on something else that can somehow, somehow complement the new Swarmos, then maybe we'll see something cool. Yeah, I mean, Infestors are always going to be like one of the best support units in the game just because of Fungal. And like Infested Terrans, we saw how Snoot was utilizing that against, um, against Goody and he did it really, really well. But like, um, yeah, you can't just rely on Swarm House anymore, and we've seen that like time and time again. You know, uh, by the way, Supernova like is really sick. I think like he's insanely good with Mech, but don't you feel like his base is, doesn't look clean at all compared to like some other turns that will put a lot more effort yeah. into it? It's like depots all over the place, factories and like. Well, you usually see people line up their uh, like infrastructure better, yeah. like just in rows and stuff. Like, if you ever watch Tasia, he'll have like a block of nine barracks, three by three grid and stuff. It's mm -hmm. like so neat and it looks so it cool. It looks but, beautiful um, as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, just, it's aesthetically pleasing. Like, that's one of the main reasons I really like Tasia, yeah. just because of his neat bases. But, if, um, yeah, if you're suffering from OCD, then you're going to have a hard time looking at Supernova's base. There's just like, <laughs> the one factory is like one square to the right compared to the two above it. And then there's one factory by itself. It's just like, ah. <laughs> I am not hiring Supernova as my interior designer anytime soon. 
Ben, I've seen how you take care of your room. I still think that would be an improvement. Oh, yes. Oh, my really? God. <laughs> my bed was so sick in Cologne, dude. It was yeah, like I remember so it? sick that I had to go and sleep in Roddy's bed because the sheets were so dirty. <laughs> well, uh, that was not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Dragons do <laughs> lead you. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty fellas. We are dirty, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, talking, me, we're talking about your bed over here, but you can't spin this one on us. I'm sorry, man. I'm fucking talented. Like, uh, these things happen. Hey, look at the swamos on the right. Spotted by barracks. Yeah, that's really what cool. Is this? this is like a swamos hit squad, which is something that, you know, is before was unheard of. But it's now Ooh. actually a real thing. This is so cool. You can fly to the main. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Water we didn't fly. Surely. No! Oh, no! <laughs> Rip. Oh, my God. You just really stopped one second too late. Oh, my God. Hyun. Rip, Hyun, rip. It's okay. It's only a minute, Kappa, and there's going to be like 15 turrets ready. He's even like, yeah, he can go in there. He has benches. You better stop running, huh? The barracks even re spots if they leave. He really wants to pop one wave into the uh, main. Uh, he's like, this was my goal all along. I this is the worst. Yeah. Like when you fail this kind of action. <laughs> the new swarm was. Just <laughs> it's really funny how fast they are. I wish they gave him like cool shoes or something because they're so much faster now. Oh, well, three bailings. Yeah. Super impressively fast. Oh, Bert. Good try, good try here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In front of him. The Supernova Army looks so sick. Like, the, I feel like he mixes units so much better than Goody. He doesn't get any Widow Mines. He gets a bunch of Benches, some Vikings, and then just like tanks and lots of Thors. Yeah. I eat, like, I really, given that oh, I've been able to see more games than Supernova has of this patch, I, I really think uh, the Mass oh. Thor style is the way to go. You think no tanks still? Like when you see that comp oh, right now? I mean, I mean, some tanks is cool. Like, if you remember mm. the old days, like I, rem I remember the old days where you could literally just make Mass Thor and beat Zerg very easily. Um, but then like Swarm Host started happening, and that was really what like shut down that style massively. Okay, uh, guys, we've been talking about a lot of things when it comes to the Swarm Host. Well, one thing we didn't really address, other than like trying to theory craft what it can and cannot catch, is the speed <laughs> of the flying locusts. They do fly really freaking slow, though. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, thank God. I mean, that's oh, always been one of Blizzard's things, though. Like, um, if you're like if you're a slow unit, you're going to be powerful. If you're a fast unit, you're going to be kind of weak. You know. That's true. Then why, Until why, why is the new Tempest? Why is Protoss unit so slow and weak? Then? Well, have you seen <laughs> the new Tempest, Todd? Like, see the void? Yeah, it's really fast. It's awesome, man. I can't and wait to think, actually. You think these mushrooms are quick? Wait till you see the fucking Tempest. Yeah, the Tempest, <laughs> the fly, the speed of light. It's so cool. But actually, it makes Protoss air so much more exciting. But. Unfortunately, that is, those are changes we're going to have to wait for until Legacy of the Void actually comes out. Whoa, By four the way, four bailing, 128 army supply to 96. This is like the opposite of Goody versus Snoots. Dude, this is some real legit... Okay, this is why you need these tanks for these banelings. But we'll, we'll see how this actually Did goes. you see the amount of banelings? Oh shit, here we go! Nobody's like talking like went, yeah, we <laughs> the bailing right. skill like a yeah. bunch of units. I mean, we don't know how to cast this fight, right? Like, so we're just like all actually eagerly anticipating to see how this one plays out. <laughs> <laughs> this is my research for future cast, man. Like, I'm not gonna call this shit. I have no idea how this fight is gonna play out. <laughs> <laughs> that was so awesome. Yeah, was really cool. You have three commentators who. You know, I've been playing this game for over 15,000 games, and then everyone's like, there's a fight, and all three of us just go silent, but, I mean, I haven't seen a fight like that yet, so, I don't know what the fuck to say. I mean, like, it was Bailings versus Smack, like, how much could they really do anyway? I mean, One yeah. thing I find They're interesting clean. is, uh, auto turrets still last, like, 180 seconds with the upgrade. In fact, 240 seconds, holy crap, that's such a long time. So you want to make Ravens too, huh? Um, I mean, for auto turrets, they're kind of cool, I guess. Oh I just, shit! I thought they were a problem too. Oh Ooh. shit! Oh dear. Should do you think he should on siege when he's like that or not? No. I think no, because they bunch up so they bunch up so badly. Yeah, yeah. I think Hyun is very unsatisfied with the new swarm most. Yeah, so much he's making freaking banelings versus should... mech, So yeah. Yeah, I mean. How much is there back at home for uh, Supernova? Not that much, but I mean, he's just zerglings and bailings. Like, you, you oh, got a base trade? Zerg, so. He's just gonna I mean, like, full on base trade. 
But this goes back to the same thing that we were talking about in the PVC, where I really love the way that Snoop played in game number three. Like, oh, I don't think you can make roaches and swarmos, because all of those units just take up a lot of supply. So going for something that takes up less supply, like Zerglings and Banelings, makes a lot more sense. Now, of course, you know, normally making Banelings against mech is not the way to go, but if you have all these swarmos taking up all your supply, then... This does make more sense this, than Roach. This is super smart though, the fact that he's taken out all the economy. Yeah. Like this is this is now if now now well, if he had these swarm hosts dealing something on the opposite side of the map too, like even if it's just at the fourth base, you know. Uh, do you like, agree with the Mudas? Well, against this many I mean, Vikings, Thors Jun, and Ravens? Jun is so into old like methods here that he's burrowing the swarm host to cast these things on these tanks. <laughs> no, I, no, 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 I think he was doing that on purpose to, uh... to dodge to dodge a mech player that probably has like six orbital commands. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, it really um, looked like he was burrowing just to spawn them. I, I, I'm not sure. But like, what, what, what did you ask? I, I like, I, I really do think swarm hosts are just going to be an aggressive unit. Yeah, but he's getting map. mutas. Like, do you like that against the amount of Vikings uh, and Ravens? No, no. And I, possible Thors, too. Like, the, the thing is, Zergs, for, for all of Heart of the Swarm, have relied on dealing with mech with swarm hosts. Like, they totally forgot how they did it in Wings of Liberty, and to be honest, I've kind of forgot too, because in Wings of Liberty, you had, you had Infestor Corruptor Broodlord to deal with it, which could mm -hmm. still work, but, you know, they haven't had to deal with that in such a long time that it's a really unfamiliar thing for them. <laughs> and in Wings, the Raven was not very popular, right? Um, yeah, I mean, Seeker Missile was totally different. Yeah. And also, it's, like, fungal was instant, so any air composition, you'd just get fungled and die. Hey, <laughs> exactly. Sion on the left hand side is taking out I think the. He might be able to kill this <gasps> Look at that PF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, PDDs to save the day? No. Wow. Why did it save the day? That's weird. It still had energy. Um, okay, so PDD, like, on a. I think PDDs kind of have, like, a little bit of a cooldown. Yeah, before they can. Uh, yeah, I see. Yeah. I like, almost activation time, but also, like, um, if there's too many shots going off, they can't block all of them. But that was uh, that was really sick. Okay, so now he's using the muters in different spaces. So he's going to use like two very different armies to harass two very different spots, like Locus in one spot, Mutus in the other. So he's got the guys over here just this waiting. This is really awesome. This yeah, is this, kinda this is nice. This is nice. And like in the meantime, he's expanding here. He can expand here. He can expand everywhere while all this is going on. No, yeah, he's not though. He's expanding very slowly. He is, but I mean, there's a lot going on, so we have to forgive him somewhat. But these swarm hosts again, they're kicking in on the oh, right the side. You're tricked. I mean, a tour in the tank for nothing is never bad. Never it's harder for Mutalist to get away with it. Mutalist really yeah. can't do anything, man. You should probably stop making now. Uh, he has. I mean, Mutalist is a snowball unit as well. I think oh. ideally, Hyun, right now, you would like to be on more gas than he is. Yeah. And uh, be getting like a lot of investors out to deal with this mech army. Yeah, and in, look, Todd, you called it. He's getting pathogen glands now. Like, he realizes, hey, that's a, that's a large cluster of air that he's got here. Like, Viking Raven. There's, there's no BCs to worry about yet. It's just Viking, Viking Raven. A few Banshees in the mix, too. Like, he can't, he can't really attack that with anything he has, so... Infestors are definitely the logical next step here. Look at those script tumors in the middle of the map, man. He's, like, drawing something. I, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say what he's drawing, though. <laughs> I mean, these Mutas are definitely finding a few openings here and there. It's not all bad news. The main thing is, like, the air and he's, like, is over here. You. Yeah, he's pulling units out of position as well, which allow the flying locusts to do a lot Ooh. more damage. Look at it this time. He's getting, like, four or five tanks. Holy shit. Yeah. And, the and a door. And a Helium. And a PF. <laughs> no, no. Shut up, yo. They, they never stop. <laughs> I tell you what, though. To say that the air army had to come, like, that yeah. dealt quite a lot of damage to yeah. that PF. And the, the next PF wave also man. has building armor upgrade. The next wave oh, yeah. is gonna do it. How many swarmos is this? 16. I think the number. Oh, oh, oh that's actually a. Is this sixteen swarmos? Yeah. It doesn't look like sixteen. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine, it is. They all bunched up, man. Uh, you didn't 15. believe me? You had to count them yourself. There's sixteen <laughs> there, dude. Yeah, no, I see the unit count that it says sixteen, but it doesn't feel like these are sixteen. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I'll try this cavern, by the way, oh, being right. made. You're right. You think <laughs> you think Ultras will ever be good here for Yeah. Him? Yeah. After he fights and loses his army, if he resupplies with Ultra, you think he can win? Yeah, I don't think it will. How does he deal with this air? It's the same story as last game though. But, yeah, the only thing you have to uh, worry about and is this like time he can just starve Supernova. Yeah, he can, but this time he can just starve him. Like this time Hyun is way richer. 
And of course, this is not overgrowth either, so it's a lot easier to run around and take extra bases, even if you lose a few. Like in the last game, Hyun was ultra shrek after he lost all his queens, had like five larvae. He was pretty rich on overgrowth, he just had zero larvae and didn't know what to make. I think this time that should never be a problem, just look at the main base. Like, we're watching this game now, and like, this, this is a very different scenario to what we normally see in Heart of the Swarm, where it's kind of like, neither of them can attack. Like, usually it's the Terran, how does he move out onto the base or take his fifth and sixth base? Like, now we're seeing that it's the Zerg being the aggressor and the Terran's yeah. kind of defending. But it's not a total stalemate, because damage is being constantly done here. And if we look at the resources lost tab, it's almost 20k for both of them. So it's pretty decent trading by both of them, too. Yeah, it's very even, actually. Yeah. Oh, man, and like these swarm hosts are definitely dealing damage every time. Like that was a good thousand resources lost right there. And that, was that all the tank? Okay, lots of the tanks did die there. So, I mean, they are dealing damage every time. Oh snap! Neural parasite and investor starting now. <laughs> Ooh, he's getting a uh, level three armor upgrades too on his air. So uh, that's kind of nifty. And, uh, I don't like the greater spot, by the way. I don't think bird loss would be good here. No, I mean you, you <laughs> get it just in case, right? Like, say, if you yeah. do get a Dream Fungal and wipe out all those Vikings and Ravens... Okay, by time. the way, 152 army supply to 109 right now. I don't want to freak you out, but... Hyun has a lot of money and he has a lot of useless... Or I guess not that many anymore. He has 11 useless mutas for that fight. Yeah. I. Where are the, where are the Infestors? Okay. And the Swarm are on the right still. The Infestors are in the natural, so like he should be out on the map right now where he has vision of the opponent's army because he's on creep. And just this trying to get he, that should be able to, he should be able to kill the planetary, right? Yeah. If he like moves forward and micros. Yeah. I mean, he's going to get it regardless. He's trying to sacrifice the Mutas, but Supernova is not taking... Oh, Seeker Missile on the Overseer, okay. Some Vikings Boom. are back. Okay, okay. Dude, uh, this army looks so scary. The, fun the Fungal, the Fungal. <gasps> is he get what the no! fuck did he fungal? Okay, there we go. He fungled in the end. Okay, the second fungal is really sick, but I yeah, don't think he can renew the... I don't think he can change fungal this. No, he can't. Oh, oh my god, so close. Those are I really, think, think Hyun's just dead again. He's ten making ultras 10 ultras. One of the big things now that oh Supernova god, needs to do... Is this? He stopped planting down so many auto turrets. 22 ravens. Like auto turrets. Yeah, the, turrets those turrets. ultras, they're stuck in the main. Yeah, and he can actually just make a wall of all the turrets. Yeah. And put the mech army behind it. Certainly. I'm actually not sure what Shun is supposed to make. Can we just remove the Raven and make this a cool game? <laughs> Seriously, Havilo is watching with uh, no hands right now. <laughs> with what? No, no hands? hands. Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. I thought you were talking about Luke no Freaking hands. Ben. Oh shit, it's going down! I think yeah. he's gonna get on those tanks and own them. Oh man, if he had, if he had like just like three, uh, three infestors to fung all those ravens. Yeah, it's a lot harder than it looks, though. Like there are tanks. Oh man, those turrets! What the hell? It's so OP. Yeah. Turrets are sick. It's gonna be very hard for Zerg to deal with this. Uh, I think Zerg just needs maybe like it's really weird that out of all three races, Zerg is the only race that doesn't have a unit that can burn energy. And even in Legacy of the Void, it looks like they won't have a unit that can burn energy, which I think has always been. You know, uh, mysterious. It doesn't. There's not really an explanation for that. Like every race has units that can go like invisible or burrow or whatever, and then Protoss can feedback, Terran can EMP, and Zerg doesn't have any of those two options. Okay, he's finally going to be able to clean up this up with the. Got one gold, man. Yeah, but like, clean up. He cleans up the ground, but he still has to worry about 22 ravens full of energy. I mean, like the thing is, like he just has no infestors on the map. Like, oh, he's got two. Where are they? Yeah. Yeah, they're in the main road. Like, do you feel like Kion made a lot of mistakes, to be honest? But yeah, he at did the same that. time, yeah, I agree that he looks very hard to counter this Raven Viking shit in late game. Even though, like, uh, if he had like fifteen investors, well managed, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, it's going to be harder for Zerg to deal with for sure than it was because before you just sat there. Do, but there is still ways to deal with this, you know. Do you think that the fact that Swamos is more supply now? Is even bigger than the fact that uh, you there is the flying locust. That this change. I think that changes so much, though. We are, I think we saw that in the Snoot games. Like the the biggest deal with the locust is the respawn timer. You know, like that sixty second, that like thirty second block where yeah. there's nothing. Like they are just useless supply. That's so big against armies like what Supernova has because that's a long time that you can just deal damage. But you you know we we do see that 
Hyun's actually dealing a lot of counter attack damage. He did have like a huge Hyun... bank, but... The only thing he's losing to in these games are the Ravens. Like, against everything else, he would have had a reasonable answer. It's just... Okay, we have, been... we have two Infestors against 27 Ravens. Should we start talk, talking about Dragon Slaying again, or...? Yes. Infestation Pit like... being remade in the main, and he has a bit of money, but... He has a lot of gas. Like, he could actually make... Uh, he has 12 larvae. He can queue up 12 Infestors at once. I mean, I'm... but like... The only way you can ever kill all of these ravens at once is if, like, Supernova right clicks like 74 times on the ground and, like, makes sure everything clumps up, makes a perfect flower. Big, big question and it's like, here, hey, though. Hey, me. How, how would Supernova go about dealing with Infestors right now, though, in this current situation? Yeah, it would be pretty hard, but he has a bit of a ground army. He's getting tanks and he has income, most of all. What about, like, just not clumping up his entire army? Yeah, also. I mean, kind of hard to do a little bit when you're moving out. What do you mean? I mean you mean? You scan, you see infestors, and then yeah. you come in from any sides. I don't think that's just like a li No. You I send in the ravens one by one into infestors, no. then you drop auto turrets. I mean, he has every fucking thing on one group, and he's running into infestors. But, I mean, that was two infestors that just took out like a good 20 supply there. That was pretty solid. And 20 loot. supply? No. Yeah. That no. was like seven. Okay, let's go backwards. Okay, okay. Let's go backwards. Let's count. <laughs> I, I, you ready I to bet your $50 donation on this? I think it was 12 supply at best, 7 was a joke. 165 supply, let's see what he drops down to you boys. 165. Okay. 165. Oh, fucking, that was pretty close. Yeah, that was yeah. So you lost your $50 donation? Yeah, but I must have been losing something somewhere else as well. No man, that was it. 